everyone, welcome to my channel, Blue Lotus Gardens. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Blue Phoenix, my pronouns are they, them. I make plenty of videos for my found knowledge, sharing you what I know, so that way it helps you with any orders from my home place plant shop, Blue Lotus Gardens. There is a QR located on the screen for further information if you'd like to visit all of our websites. If this is something that you're interested in, um, I recommend subscribing to my channel, helping my channel grow into a larger audience. I really appreciate all my new subscribers. Thank you so much for um, liking my videos, commenting down below, interacting with me. I love it. I enjoy talking to all you fun, plenty people and just sharing my knowledge and learning from you all. I think this is all really fascinating and I just enjoy this, this like amazing community. So thank you all. Uh, and let's get on to the video. In today's Plant Care Tuesday video, uh, we are talking about the Hoya Compacta Variegata. I am going to cover lighting, water, humidity, uh, repotting, a little bit of my tips uh, in order to help you out on how to uh, care for your Hoya Compacta Variegata. I think this is one of like a very special plant. Um, I found very uh, as many ways as I can in order to like put it on my store and share with you all and. As soon as new new plants like this arrive, I just immediately like send out newsletters. So if you uh, see my website, there's a news there's um, a section for email newsletters, um, and then just sign up on that, and then I'll send send one out. I do newsletters on Fridays, sometimes Thursdays. It just really depends on the schedule. You act, so when you receive this plant, you don't want to repot it right away. You actually want to wait wait at least like six months i would say six months let those roots just really get nice and good and root bound in there also learned that a lot of people were having issues with it and i try to follow up as, with everybody as much as possible but i do recommend you uh following up with me like right when you have any issues that way i can help you out with your plant care with your order and anything that uh you need um to help you out So for lighting, for your Hoya Compacta Variegata, you want to make sure that you're keeping it in a very, in a bright, indirect location, um, and there is no direct light to it. If there is any direct light, there will be scorching on the the leaves, um, and they will turn like this uh, dark. It'll look, look like a dark brown spot, and it'll kind of like mold itself out sometimes. So. Just be careful on that. Um, it is something that's uh, the this one. Um, I would not put it outside. It's not an outside plant. Uh, no direct sun. Um, I wouldn't even like go. I wouldn't even put it like for morning sun. Like it just unless you have like very 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 shady. I don't know. Like I wouldn't even do it. No, it's just that's just like too too risky. But it's great if you have it like near a window. Um, let's see, this is, and behind me is a south facing window. So if I would have it hanging, have it hanging near the, the window, it would be great in the morning. Um, but I would want to move that away after like two to three hours because that, that's, that, um, that area right there gets really intense light. And so sometimes I have to move the plants away from. Then I have a east facing window located to my right or to my right. <laughs> um, and so this is, that's how I shift the plants. Um, right now I don't have uh, like cabinets and things like that. I'm, I'm redoing my plant studio uh, and I'm really excited actually. So that's really fun. But that's how I would go about lighting um, and make sure that you don't um, put it in a very like extreme location like a leave it there for a really long time outside is not not gonna do well for watering do very light waterings very light waterings it doesn't require a heavy amount of watering don't water um, on top of it the water will seep into the into the little crevices here and And that's how you will get like pest infestation uh, because you can't like you'll you'll miss one and then sometimes it's really hard to get into there unless you have like a very fine brush that you can get in there and just kind of like 
sweep away the water and the, the, the soil that gets caught in there. That's like a tip that I would recommend for uh, when you're watering it, do not water on top. If you can, if you are gonna water it, I would recommend doing a bottom watering. This eliminates the leaves on top becoming damaged, especially once humidity hits, they'll like rot if you miss a spot with watering. So that's my recommendation. And I would only like fill up your water about a fourth of the way. And the less is less is better. So if you want to start off with even like a small amount and then just keep gauging and seeing how heavy your pot is, you don't want to make it, you don't want to have it feeling heavy and you don't want to make it having feel feeling light. You want to make it feel like it has some sort of weight to it, but not too, too much. And I'm not sure if that's the best way I can explain it. I'm trying to figure out how to explain it, but that's the best way I can explain how to gauge your plant after it was bottom watered. So that's um, for water. Humidity. You do not want to place this plant in a in a high humidity environment, especially if there's not any circulation involved, because that will definitely rot your plant. Uh, so if it's in a high humidity environment and if it's been watered, it's not going to uh, it's not it's going to rot immediately because the water and the humidity do not mix with this plant like that. It, it, it'll just immediately start to rot it. And uh, I've noticed on how other people not like just so many different, uh, so many different questions and stuff that I've received. And that's mainly the, 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 the reason why a lot of things happen is because like the humidity and the watering. And uh, as you see here, the soil in here is a more barky type soil. And the reason for this is because Hoyas like to grip, little roots like to grip onto things. And so they really, they're very fine, but they're like, there's a lot. And so they just, they're, the bark helps with the aeration for the, the roots so it doesn't um, rot your plants. As you noticed, uh, some, um, whole, some, I don't know if you noticed, but like there are, other places out they'll buy that you'll buy a plant and it's like in peat moss and that's fine but um, like I said before we're a small company and we really listen to a lot of feedback and I share my feedback with them and I think it's amazing because we're just growing and we're learning from you all as much as you all are learning from us and that's completely amazing it's like a, th a 360 just right there <laughs> Propagation. To propagate your Hoya Compacta Variegata, so you can propagate this by soil, by water, um, and also by vermiculites. It just depends on your expertise level with it. With all that, um, I always recommend trying trying them all. The reason why is you get so comfortable in one propagation method that you don't you do not get to experience the other methods and um, some methods are a little bit faster rooting than others like like vermiculite vermiculite helps begonias root really fast so um that's an, that the reason why is because the humidity when you're trapping with the begonias it traps it in the in the container and so that moisture in that water um, just will work very well with the begonias. Um, I wouldn't recommend doing that with the Hoya unless you're checking on it and not having it in high humidity. So you can you could put it in vermiculite, but I wouldn't enclose it. And if and if you do have it in high humidity in the environment, then I would make sure that you have it with a very high uh, circulation uh, going on because it will rot out your. Uh, Propagation. I feel like I'm just like brain dumping some things on y'all. I really want to make sure that there is some sort of updated information if needed be. Mm -hmm. 
fertilizing it. You, this is the fertilizer I use. It's the one from my um, from the greenhouse peop, from the greenhouse that I work with. They have this fertilizer. They have this and a slow release fertilizer. And that fertilizer has worked great with my plants. I haven't fertilized anything yet. I finished fertilizing already everything. So, um, but I generally would recommend anybody that's starting off with uh, fertilizing. To, to go with a liquid 2020 um, it's a very general uh, uh, it's a very general uh, fertilizer and it's um, a balanced uh, formula for your plant so that way you are entering um, this new method with a little bit more of like a guidance to it and understanding of how it works in a general sense so that way you could kind of like work with it in the future if you if you want to explore those other ratios out there but i also recommend people um going with slow release fertilizer when you repot it if you are not familiar with um fertilizing and the reason why is because so slow release fertilizer works in a um in a six month period um so after six months you, you want to repot it and then add that slow release fertilizer with you on that so that way you um cover your fertilizing with your plant if you're new to it and you don't have to worry so much about it being fertilized and having that fertil fertilizer routine i think whenever you're starting off and really wanting to get into plants you really want to go into it as a very general um you want to go with it as very like uh easy going as possible and I think with all this great help and knowledge that everybody has provided, um, I think I think there's so much help out there. Uh, during lockdown, I definitely just sat down. I watched like every single Plantarina video, every single other video, every everyone. I watched them all. I just watched them all. I mean, I was interested. This is, what, and I was like, how do I propagate this? And then I was like, how do I? use this and then how do you pronounce this did you know y'all can actually go on youtube and learn how to pronounce the words i definitely go on there because i i um i am bilingual and so i need to um listen to how it sounds so that way i can um, really grasp the pronunciation for that um word well everyone i believe that is everything that i can think of on covering the Ho the Hoya Compacta Variegata, also known as the Variegated Hindu Rope. Uh, I think this is just a very special plant. I love Hoyas. I love Hoyas. I'm a big Hoya person now, so um, I just I, I love them. Um, but yeah. And I, I, I believe I covered everything. If there, if I missed something, go ahead and uh, leave a comment down below and let me know what, um, what you would like to know about it. And maybe there's something that I can elaborate on or share with you all and talk to you all about, about it um, as well. Um, for further information, your own, for every Plant Care Tuesday video is, has a blog post on my plant blog, bluelotusgardens.com. And you're all, all welcome to join it. Um, it's a free blog. Um, I, it, I, I it, it's free and I keep it for members. There's so many things to offer on there. And I'm working on updating it as much as I can, um, little by little. But I do post blog posts related to Plant Fair Tuesday. So that way, if there's something that I've missed or I feel like I need to elaborate on, I will do so and share also a Plant Fair Guide on there so that way you will have um, a plant care guide from my found knowledge um, as always you all are just so amazing and i really have appreciated you all for helping us grow Subs subscribing to my channel becoming my patreon members how cool is that like you all are just so cool for for doing that like i am so passionate about my business and growing it and there's just there's just so much more that I want to offer and I want to help in communities and grow in communities and 
I'm gonna get, it, it, it's just it's all coming together and I really appreciate you all um, so much so 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 much um, you all have a wonderful day out there thank you so much again peace everyone bye